right guys this is uh three radios that i'll be uh comparing with uh, a single sideband signal on 5450 kilohertz so this is the uh united kingdom royal air force uh, weather station and so 5450 kilohertz upper sideband the three radios that we're going to actually go through is two unusual radios and of course one well-known model so uh the uh, chinese dsp sdr which is kind of a clone of the malahide uh, russian radio dsp with screen the ats20 um ats25 um radio the um of course the uh, dsp here that we have here ats25 and of course we'll have the uh saint gian ats 909 x2 so all three on the same frequency same channel in upper sideband 5450 kilohertz every time i switch a radio i will tell you uh, which radio it is first radio the uh chinese clone of the malachite sdr Let's go to the ATS 25 DSP receiver, um, all on the same antenna, the MLE 30. And finally, we'll go to the Saint Jean ATS 909X2 receiver. Chinese clone this is without the noise reduction feature and now with the reduction noise reduction feature Thank you. 
Back without noise reduction. And now let's go to the ATS twenty five DSP once again. Once again, same antenna on all three. I'm using a multi coupler. Let's try it with a different bandwidth here. There we go. 2.2 kilohertz bandwidth. Actually, that was 1.2. This is 2.2. And last but not least, back to the St. Gian ATS 909X2. So pretty much the verdict is they all receive it. Um, the noise reduction feature of the uh, Chinese clone SDR is amazing. It really helps even weak signals get much clearer. You know, I see a lot of people are like, wow, I'd like to see portable radios with that type of feature in them. I have to say it is impressive compared to uh, a lot of things I've seen. And uh, it kind of muffles the sound a little but it is you know the balance is good enough that it it improves enough to be a winner feature still the uh ATS uh 25 isn't bad at all also for uh, for what it is uh works pretty well and with the chosen bandwidth is pretty good actually it's funny because on the same antenna the one that was not as strong and as good most of the time was well, pretty much the same gene. Uh, now, you know, these are very different radios, but still, when you compare these radios, uh, it's kind of interesting to see what you performance you get and how different it is depending on what radio you're using. So what do you guys think? What, which one did you like in there? And I'm going to have a few more videos with where I'm going to actually mostly ask you guys, which one did you like the most? Which one did you not like in the uh, testing? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.